Hi everybody, it's Katie, and today I am here to talk to you about the fifth and final book in the Rick Riordan series of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Last Olympian. And it took a lot longer to get through than I was expecting it to. I gave The Last Olympian four out of five stars on Goodreads, simply because this book took the longest for me to get through than any other of the Rick Riordan books that I've ever read. Percy Jackson is a boy who finds out that he is the son of a god. And not just any god, but a Greek god. And because he is the son of a god and a son of a mortal, that means that he is a half-blood. And that means that things and demons and monsters constantly want to kill him. In order to prove himself because a prophecy lays on his head. He is sent out on a multitude of different quests and tr basically just tries to save the world. That is a summary of, a very vague summary of Percy Jackson. Um, it is a middle grade series, uh, so written for middle grade audience. However, this is such a good and funny read. Uh, for anyone that really just kind of wants to pick it up, I know that I was putting some quotes on Tumblr um, as I was reading it, and I just thought it was hilarious. And people were commenting, thinking that it was also hilarious. This particular book took me, personally, a little longer to get through. Still, my favorite book out of the series has to be the second one, The Sea of Monsters. I don't know, I just really like that one. This is the book where the prophecy comes to a head and everything happens and there's fighting and there's blood and there's gore and there's Pegasus's sigh and there's flying pigs and everything, everything that we have read, all of the Percy Jackson stuff comes to a head in this book, at least for this series. And my gosh, it was so action packed. So some of the lines that I really enjoyed in this book was when Percy was talking to his father and Percy was sitting on his father's throne to get his father's attention during the middle of the war and they're talking about how basically his father has to just let his underwater castle be destroyed so that the war can come to a finish and his father is like, dude. It took 600 years to get this game room together, and you expect me to have it destroyed? What? I found that absolutely hilarious. The character deaths that we did have were heartbreaking when they were finally, like, defeating Kronos. Let me tell you, that was not the decision that I was expecting him to have to make in order to save Olympus. Um, I definitely thought it would be, like, a decision based off of him choosing a side, but it was a decision in him choosing to trust. And I think that that is more important to have in a story than a decision on choosing a side. It teaches such good lessons that sometimes you have to just trust your gut and trust someone else in a situation that you feel led to control. That was a theme that I really enjoyed in this book and I definitely think that that was a good theme to incorporate. I feel like The Last Olympian was a little bit of a misleading title simply because you know it, it really wasn't made that big of a deal. Hera was The Last Olympian and it was said once because um, Percy gave her Pandora's box jar. And that was it. That was the only reference to the last Olympian. And all she did was take the Pandora's jar. It was really kind of like my few complaints is the fact that uh, it took me a while to get through and uh, the title was a little misleading. I definitely thought it was going to be like more like blood and gore if it was called the last Olympian. Um. But still, ultimately, a very good book. I enjoyed it. And I have basically the rest of Rick Riordan stuff. Uh, I have currently the rest of Rick Riordan stuff. 
Um, my One of my resolutions this year is to get through all of Rick Riordan's books, uh, and that is still a resolution that I am planning to hold to. I just need... I'm going to get through April before I pick up another Rick Riordan book. Not that I don't like the Rick Riordan books, it's more of the fact that I, I need a break. Um, because that Percy Jackson book just took a lot out of me. So, with all of that being said, guys, I will leave the links to the other video reviews in the description box down below. Uh, follow me on all of my different social media. I'm on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Goodreads. I also have a website and an email that you can contact me on as well. If you so choose, all of that information will be in the description box down below. With all of that being said, Insert your creative outro here, and I will talk to you later. Bye!